Hi everyone, this is Paris De Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop. I have a client, I have a client, uh, she's, I've known her now for about a year and she has a habit of coming over for a reading in the evenings, okay? So the last time she came over, she wanted to know about her career and I said in her card, it looked like there was going to be a promotion. And I said to her, however, it was going to require a lot of strategy on her part. Now, what happened was she rang me the next day. So she came for a reading at 8 p.m. The next day, around 4 p.m., she said I was wrong. Because her promotion didn't happen in the last, like, 8 hours or 10 hours. Okay? So sometimes um, I said to her... She has to be patient because the cards don't, you, you don't get a reading done at 8 p.m. and the next day the, 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 the situation comes to be. I said to her to, to wait and I also said it's going to depend on her being strategic in the uh, ability to get this promotion. So sometimes cards have a funny way of answering the question, maybe not the way you think it's going to answer it, okay? So, I would say give the cards a bit of a chance for things to play out as well. Be, be careful of being hasty. Be careful of um, getting a reading and then like two days later, it's totally wrong. Because sometimes things have a way of working out, maybe not the way you thought. Okay, now I'll give you another example. Uh, when I was in Sydney, I left Sydney uh, at the end of... Nine, uh, at the end of 2019, I left Sydney. Okay. And I had a shop in Sydney. And Sydney is a very expensive place. I was renting a shop. So I was paying high rent because it was in a sh position, the shop was located in, in a position where there was a lot of uh, foot traffic. Very, very busy area in Sydney. For those who know Sydney, it's next to Oxford Street. And uh, at the end of uh, 2019, I asked my tarot cards and my cards, my Lenormand and my cards, I said, if I go to Europe, Malta, will I be successful? Was my question. Okay. And the cards said, yes, I had the sun, Card. I had the world, I had the star, uh, I had the four of wands, which is about being welcomed. And I thought, wow, looks like I'm going to be very successful in Europe and in Malta. So when I got here, January, it was December, January that I got here. And, and then in a few months of being in Malta, we had the pandemic, the uh, coronavirus. So I thought, my cards were wrong. How can I be successful with a coronavirus? Everything's shut down. So we went into shutdown. So my, my hope, my dream of coming to Malta and Europe and opening a shop, well, it, it didn't happen. It's wrong. The cards were wrong. So a few months went by and we're still in lockdown. The idea of opening a shop here was just not, not a good, wasn't going to happen. Why would I open the shop in the middle of a pandemic, right? So then I was talking to my parents and I said, you know, I wanted to open in this shop but it you know it's not possible now it's you know it's not going to happen because of the pandemic and my my parents suggested well why don't you buy a house 
instead. I never thought of that. I thought of just opening a shop. So as the months went by, instead of opening a shop, I decided to buy a house and turn it into a shop. So the cards were right. The cards said I would be successful, but not the way that I thought. Now, the other thing that the card said was when I said, should I close my shop in Sydney? The cards were saying yes. Now, the cards knew that the pandemic was coming, but I didn't know that. We didn't know that, right? So the cards were prompting me to get out of a high rent shop. If I stayed in Sydney through the pandemic, I would have been paying a massive rent and not having clients. So the cards were telling me, if you go to Europe, you will be successful. I got to Europe and I was confused because what I thought success was going to be was not the way that it was going to be. I thought I was going to come here and open a shop. I was going to rent a shop, open it and maybe stay six months and, you know, travel. My travel plan didn't work. My shop plan didn't work, but I ended up buying a house, which I now have a shop house, which is better than what my previous plan was. So now I'm based in Malta. I can travel around Europe when the pandemic is done and I can travel to Australia, my, my home. I have two homes, one in Malta, one in Australia. So my point in sharing this is sometimes we think a reading or a prediction should be a certain way but it ends up being another way, but it still answered the question. My cards and said to me that I will be successful if I come to Malta. And that's what happened. I am successful, but it didn't happen the way that I thought it was going to happen. Okay. So just be aware that sometimes when we do readings, we, so a lot of people want like almost like, uh, like a, a spot answer. But, but sometimes we have, to, we have to reflect and we have to think, okay, it didn't work out the way that I thought it would, but it did work out, okay? So Betty asked a question here. Did the cards mean you were successful with your online business? Well, that's another thing as well. So the other thing that happened because of the um, pandemic, I started doing more online stuff. So... Yeah, that's part of it as well. I started to do more online. I started to um, focus more online. I still have a lot of my clients in Sydney that do online readings with me. So that's sort of continued. And, uh, you know, so yeah, it's part of it. But I, I hate to think that if I stayed in Sydney paying high rent on a shop, and although Sydney now is pretty much open because the coronavirus there is kind of under control, um, I would have had to uh, pay a, a year's rent without much um, with, without much income. So that would have been a nightmare. I would have been very stressed out. Alrighty, well, I think I might leave this video here. Otherwise, it, they get too long. And uh, I shall see you next time. This is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop.